Hi, Bill Edstrom here. This video, I want to show you a technique for creating a tempo map in Traction 6. Traction 6 has a unique ability to dynamically stretch the view of the timeline, and that allows you some kind of a creative way to basically put in a lot of tempo changes up to putting in tempo changes every bar if you want to, and match the timeline and the grid to an existing performance. So I've already got that underway. And if you're doing this, if you're going to bring in a freely played part and you want to add some additional things to it, but have it lined up to the grid, the first thing you do after you bring it in is to make sure time stretching is turned off on all of the audio tracks. So you can see right here where it says stretch, I've got it set to no time stretching for all these parts. This is a multi-track drum part. All right, well, it's not really mixed uh, particularly well here, but what I've done is I've got the kick track aligned along the top, and I just really want to align the bars with the downbeat of the kick track. And so what I've done is I've gone through here and added tempo changes. And with my setup, I had tempo changes with option T. So anywhere I want to add one, then I use option T. So I'm going to go out here a little ways to where uh, this, where I've, I've gotten up to this point here, and then just show you how this is done. So I'm going to go right here, and you'll see that this is the downbeat. Let me just expand this kick. All right, so that's clearly not in time. Now, if you click on the, first you open the tempo track right here, and then this node or tempo point, if I click on it, then you'll see the properties down here. The BPM property, I can adjust the tempo of basically of the edit after this tempo point. So if I stretch this, you can see that I can drag this bar. I'll just put the cursor there so it's right there. I can drag it to the right spot by just altering this by just dragging the BPM slider. Now that I've done that, I want to click here. I've got snap on so that it snaps, and I'm going to use option T to add another point. So you can see I have a point here, and then I can use that to drag the next one in. So I click here to select it, and then I can just drag that until that's lined right up. This one looks pretty good. Out here, it's a little bit off. So I'm going to put one here anyway because I'm going to be adjusting from here out to here. Option T. This is based on the keyboard mapping that I always use. If you've seen the other videos, you know about that. And so then I'll drag this until that bar is perfectly lined up. That's the workflow for creating a tempo map in Traction 6. To learn more about Traction, check out my book, Bill Edstrom's Guide to Traction 6. It's available on LeanPub, or you can go to my website, billedstrom.com, to find more, or go directly to LeanPub and search for the word traction, and then you will find this, which is the kind of the landing page for the book, and you can learn all about the book here, as well as see the table of contents, or even download a sample of the book, or preferably just go ahead and buy the book. There's a variable price range, so you can pretty much pay what you'd like and support this independently developed book on traction. Thanks for watching.